Hi, my name is Walter, and we are here to give you an official Michigan marching band tour. We'll be traveling to a few locations on campus, where you will often find yourself as a member of the MMB. This will give you a closer look at life in the MMB and of our traditions, activities, and resources as you prepare for your audition. We are really excited to get started, so let's go. First up, we have Ravelli Hall. This is the main hub for all things Michigan Marching Band. Ravelli Hall was named in honor of William D. Ravelli, a former director of the MMB. Here, we gather for music rehearsals and pregame warm-ups. Once you arrive at Ravelli Hall, you'll be enthusiastically greeted by members from your section. This is the introduction to a strong community of friends, faculty, and staff. One of my favorite things about the MMB is that our students hail from over 24 states and 300 high schools, both big and small. Also, we have band members who attend each of the three University of Michigan campuses, Ann Arbor, Dearborn, and Flint. There are various ways that you can get involved in the MMB. We have four student-led strategic planning committees that work with the faculty and staff to improve various aspects of our ensemble. The Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee proactively evaluates band recruitment, education, culture, and service to further our commitment to inclusivity. The Show Design Committee suggests ideas for the upcoming season's show themes, music, and drill. The Recruitment Committee strategizes about how to best reach and engage prospective students. And the Systems and Operations Committee conducts a comprehensive review of band protocols and procedures. Our co-ed honorary band fraternity Cap Kappa Psi and co-ed honorary band sorority Tau Beta Sigma are also housed in Ravelli Hall. These professional organizations are open to all band members and promote leadership and service within our ensembles. On the steps of Ravelli, you'll find the drumline performing their traditional step show on game day Saturdays. I remember during my first step show seeing hundreds of people waiting for us to perform and it felt amazing. After the performance, MMB members assemble in the hall for Rebelli Exit when we all run out of Rebelli to begin our parade to the big house. Sophomore year, I was actually the first to run out of the doors, which was so scary, but really fun. Before we talk about game day, though, let's head to Elwell Field. The Michigan Marching Band has its own turf rehearsal field, complete with the iconic Block M. In mid-August, MMB members are required to attend a two-week preseason training session, which we call Band Week. It's kind of like band camp, if you had that in high school. Incoming members meet MMB student leaders and take the first few days to learn traditional Michigan music and marching fundamentals. You don't need any prior marching band experience to audition for the MMB because our amazing student leaders teach you step-by-step step when you arrive for Band Week. Many students who learn how to march for the first time during Band Week have become leaders of our ensemble in future years. Marching band members attend rehearsals from 4.45 to 6.15 p.m. Monday through Friday during the fall semester. We also attend sectionals once a week, which our section leaders set after checking everyone's schedules. Marching band is a two-credit course through the School of Music, Theater, and Dance, and you can work with our faculty members to ensure that it fits into your class schedule. An audition, or a challenge, is held each week to determine which students in the wind, flag, and twirler sections are in the performance block for pregame and halftime, and which students are in the reserve block. Challenges consist of a pregame and halftime portion, where students in ranks of eight execute each marching style performed in the MMB, while playing an excerpt of the pregame and the previous week's halftime music. During challenges, every student is evaluated on an individual level by the instructional staff. Please note that the drumline undergoes a different process. You may contact director of the Michigan Drumline, Chuck Ricotta, at cricotta at umich.edu for more information. It may seem overwhelming balancing the activities of academics, band, and other extracurriculars, but trust me, you will always have a study buddy and people to guide you through that time management process. Our rehearsal schedule actually helps you improve your time management skills, and there has always been another band member in one of my classes to study with. Plus, the statistics don't lie. Most MMB students had a higher GPA during band season than during the off season. There's also a common misconception that all students in the MMB are music majors. While we do have music majors, the band hosts students from 80 different majors and county. Around 49% of the MMB members are in the School of Literature, Science, and the Arts. 39% are in Engineering. 3% are in the School of Music, Theater, and Dance and the rest are in other academic departments. Now it's time to perform. Saturdays in Ann Arbor are absolutely incredible. There is nothing like a game day in the big house, the largest stadium in the Western Hemisphere. 
Game day starts off at Elbow Field with our morning rehearsal. We play through a few Michigan traditionals and our halftime show music, then transition into a brief marching rehearsal to get warmed up for the day. After morning rehearsal comes to the best part, section tailgates. Our generous parents and family members set up tents with food, Gatorade, coffee, tea, and water for us to fuel up before the game. Following a brief break, we parade from Ravelli to the big house. This is where the day really picks up. We have a quick performance outside the gates before entering the tunnel. And then, in the tunnel, we hype each other up for our pre-game performance before running out onto the field. During home games, every student in the MMB performs during the game day rehearsal. Parade to the stadium, performance in the stands, and post-game performance. All students also perform in our homecoming halftime show. My personal favorite halftime show is our space show we did to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 11 moon landing, where our show opened with a message from an astronaut on the International Space Station. The MMB believes that every student should have the best possible experience when they perform on the field. It is important that we feel completely prepared before we perform, and the challenge process helps us feel prepared. It allows us to work in a collaborative environment with other MMB members to work toward a common goal and always seek improvement. In addition to performing at the Big House, band members have many opportunities to travel. We typically visit Michigan State, Ohio State, and Notre Dame during seasons with away games at their stadiums, as well as traveling to bowl games and occasional season openers. One of my favorite trips with the MMB is the Citrus Bowl from the 2019 season. It was so cool to get to play in March to the Magic Kingdom and make memories with my best friends. The University of Michigan also offers non-music major ensembles outside of the MMB. Our basketball band performs in Chrysler Arena, our hockey band performs in Yost Ice Arena, and our volleyball band performs in Cliff Keen Arena. These bands also travel for postseason tournaments and special events, including recent trips to Anaheim, California, and Madison Square Garden in NYC. If concert band is up your alley, you can also play your instrument as part of our university or campus bands. The marching band and these ensembles also perform in Michigan's world-renowned Hill Auditorium. Many MMB students opt to participate in a concert band or athletic band as well as marching band, so it's possible to do both, or all three types of ensembles. That wraps up our Michigan Marching Band Tour. Joining the MMB has been the highlight of my college experience, and the band has made Michigan truly feel like home. We hope you will take the field with us this fall. If you play a wind instrument, submit your audition following the steps outlined here. The directors will evaluate your audition based on musicianship, sound quality, intonation, rhythmic accuracy, and articulation. We encourage you to play your audition on whichever instrument you feel most comfortable, marching or concert. If you'd like to join the Michigan Drumline or Michigan Flags, follow these steps. For more information on how to audition, please visit www.michiganmarchingband.com slash audition. Thank you for watching. Always and forever. Go Blue.